as i mentioned in this course step by step i will be teaching you each and every concept which is required for understanding node js so this is the basic concept you should be aware of static website versus dynamic websites versus websites which are rendered using api so starting with static website this websites are created using simple html css and javascript code and this entire files whatever developer has created exact same files will be hosted inside the server and whenever browser is requesting for the files server will be sending the prebuilt files which we have hosted and whatever files browser is getting it is simply going to render the data on screen and this entire data can be viewed by the user so these are called as static website each and every time whenever browser is requesting for the files user is going to get the same data now here we have written javascript but here in this kind of static website javascript is only used to add some dynamic effects or animation it is no way related to dynamic content it is simply means we have just added some effects to our website so static website basically means whenever browser is requesting for the data each and every time browser will be getting the same data and same data will be displayed to the user without any change for example simple portfolio or information website which will always display the same data whenever browser is requesting for that content so here static refers to unchanging nature of the content we have javascript but still we are creating static website where content will not be changed now coming to dynamic websites here websites content will be built dynamically on the server each and every time request is made so how it will be working this kind of websites will always have database and then we are going to have our server logic for example node js using which we can fetch the data from the database and then we will combine the data with predefined templates using which we are just going to generate our pages dynamically remember this kind of websites will be created on the server we are just going to generate the pages dynamically and then it is just going to send the resulting html css and javascript to the browser whenever browser is making a request it is simply going to send the resulting html css and javascript but this dynamic websites will be rendered on the server so these websites are called as server side rendering website because our server is going to build the pages so in this dynamic website content will be changing based on the user actions time or database updates for example if you visit youtube you will not be having the same content after 5 minutes or 10 minutes based on the user interaction each and every time you will be having some dynamic content each and every time data will be changed but in static website unless and until you change the data by yourself content is not going to change but in this dynamic website content is going to build dynamically on the server side so each and every time whenever user is making some action they are going to get different data on the screen you can take example of youtube you can take example of twitter where each and every time it is going to show different tweets based on your account then comes our api rendered website api stands for application programming interface which means piece of software can be used by another piece of software basically api allows applications to talk to each other so here also just like dynamic website 
we are going to have the database and we are going to fetch the data from the database and then here server is not going to send any html css or javascript instead it is only going to send the data which is having json format and here whenever we are trying to render the website using api here comes the two steps we are going to build the api and then we are going to consume the api so here node.js plays the important role because using node.js we can create powerful apis so whenever we are creating this kind of website we have to build the api and then we have to consume the api then instead of sending html css or javascript this json data will be sent from the server to the browser so here we are just going to consume our api data and after that our front end frameworks like react angular vue.js they are just going to consume this api data and then they are just going to render the website on the client side so these kind of websites are called as client side rendering because browser is going to handle and browser will be helping in building the pages because browser handles the building of pages so these kind of websites are called as client side rendering so here now you can see power of api rendered website so inside this dynamic website building website will be happening on the server side but here the websites which are created using api building of the website will be happening on client side so in this case node is a perfect tool for building apis and also it is suitable for building dynamic server side rendering website so understanding this difference is very important so here i have mentioned some point related to content static will be pre built and unchanging dynamic will be built on server per request api powered website data only which is rendered on the client then coming to server roles so in static it is simply going to serve the files in dynamic server is going to generate and serves the content and in api powered it is going to serve the data through api then coming to database in static we do not have any database but in dynamic and api we are having integrated databases then coming to rendering part in static all the pages are pre rendered in dynamic we have server side rendering and in api powered we have client side rendering then flexibility static it is limited to static content dynamic websites are dynamic but they are tied to the browsers and api powered they are flexible across all the platform we are going to see in the next slide how it is flexible and examples of static website are basic portfolio site or informational site example of dynamic website are twitter wordpress blogs etc example of api powered website are instagram modern single page applications etc and advantage of using api powered website are same api i can use for website same api i can use for native app for different operating system then same api i can use for mobile apps so if you are having one api then same api we can serve for multiple platform because data source is centralized and it is completely reusable for example we have instagram app and we have web version of instagram and both will be requesting the same data through an api each and every time when you are visiting some page you will not be having different data instead you will have the same data so one api can serve multiple platforms the main business model of api is that this apis can be monetized by offering access to 
third party developers i hope you understood difference between static website and dynamic website what is server side rendered website and client side rendered website